up 24 7 tech signing here from my channel and uh, try hardy tech here uh just um po i'm posting a bunch of videos now so go ahead and l watch my channel i'll leave the link in the description yep. okay so today we're going to be talking about the tesla roadster 2.0 and, and the whole tesla and why you should buy the cars i've made some tesla videos and uh if you go on my channel you can find those and um we're gonna upload a sort of different video on his channel too because you know different phones different things this is recorded on the no 8 his is on the pixel comment down below which one you think is better let's talk tesla roadster 2.0 this is a really enticing device as you can see with the thumbnail it's really cool it looks awesome it's so good that it's better than the previous one which was just a lotus frame so the thing about the previous one tesla it was its first car so like um, Lotus really couldn't. Um, yeah, they borrowed it from Lotus. The ch uh, the chassis, what? and the exterior was like really. Uh, it wasn't was it as good. It looked like a gasoline car. It's not modern. Let's just keep it at that. But it, it was modern. back in 2010. But now, 10 years, um, about uh, 10 years later. Um, 2020. <laughs> yeah, but the Tesla Roadster 2.0 is coming out in 2020. True. So um, so after 10 years, they're making a refresh to it. And it's so but good. Did they uh, release the thing in 2010 and shipped it in 2010? Yep. yep. No, I don't think they did that. I think they like delayed it because Tesla has a really bad reputation <laughs> at releasing the car and re selling it. Learn it. Okay. Yeah, now so let's talk about the zero to sixty. The zero that's to sixty is 1.9 seconds, which is just crazy fast. That's absolutely awesome. And I heard a lot of rumors and actually reports saying that Tesla's top speed. They just limit it to 250 miles per hour, which is actually really fast. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But it can go up to 300 miles an hour. It's just an electronic limiter. Uh, sets it to a pace that it's not too fast. Because yeah. we don't want uh, Note 7s to blow up. In this case, Note 7s at Tesla Roadster. Yeah, and, the and, and the range is, is a 620 miles. miles with a 200 kilowatt hour battery, which is twice the amount of... Tesla's 100 kilowatt hour battery in the Tesla Model S yeah, and exactly. X. The S gets and, around 335 and, uh, and double the range. My thoughts are thinking that they're probably in the next uh, year, maybe in the 2019 Model S and Model Xs, they might bring that 200 uh, kilowatt battery into it so that you can get large, uh, more range. And uh, and they might have like the P200D, which you just go super fast. So and the Model S is a super fast fast car already. If the Tesla Roadster is at a drag step, it's just amazing. One point nine seconds zero sixty is just crazy. Like, yeah. And another thing is that I sort of object your claim in that two hundred P two hundred D uh, claim. I thought it would be around P one twenty D. Gets around four hundred miles of range with Tesla's new architecture that I'm thinking will come in. New interiors, more aerodynamic, and. It just differentiates the Model 3 from the Model S a little bit more. So, and then they would bring the price down and interior. That's my design. That's my thoughts about the Model S. Because at this point, you're really getting the same thing with the 3 and the S. Except that that S has like a pretty less, just a little better interior. And you can get it like It's bigger and it's, you can, it's faster. And uh, it's, just, it's longer. Uh, and um, but then you realize that the Model 3 spec'd out is 60k, and then the Tesla Model S base Starts is 70. 60, yeah, 70, so that's 68. just... So, <laughs> but the thing also about the Roadster is that it's $250,000. So if you're a rich billionaire, obviously you can afford it. <laughs> MKBHD. Um, he's our... Oh, by the way, go to his a, channel. Yeah. Ta go to the um, MKBHD version 21 or 22 or 20, something like that. He talks about the Tesla Roadster. If you're buying a Tesla, rev refer him because he'll probably give you like a thousand dollars off, and he gets a whopping five thousand dollars off for each person he refers, and awesome. there's no limit to it. Yeah. So, and he's buying the Founder Series reservation, I think, right? Yep. Yeah. And um, I've actually reserved the Model Three at this. Um, so, I've actually been waiting for a long time, over like two years now, for my Model Three to come, and um. Uh, the Tesla emailed me. They're saying that it only be coming at um, uh, in the end of next in 2019 December, which is just so long for the Tesla Model 3. Wait, 2019 December? Yeah. Oh my God, that's like two years. Come on, Tesla. Almost three. Like, what are you doing? Here? They're in production hell, which is just amazing. Uh, like, amazing. Are you getting the long range or the standard? I'm getting the standard one. Oh, the long range would have uh, came now, and it's just amazing that. 
Tesla already designed everything, but they can't. 60 it. kilowatt armor battery? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. 60. Other one's 75. Yeah. But, okay. Me personally, the only thing which stops me from buying a Tesla is that freaking interior. It's so disgusting. It's horrible. What are you doing, Tesla? But, but the, this. The new Roadster one is just. It amazing. looks really cool. And the steering wheel is just awesome. <laughs> It just looks really cool. It looks like a nice interior design, and I guess for two hundred fifty dollars, I mean thousand dollars, you expect that, and you get it too. So, yeah. good job, good job, Tesla. Just yeah. implement that on your S and the X, yeah. and then because the slowly, S and the X are really expensive cars. Like, slowly I've been slowly in that. trickle it down to the three and the Y when it comes. Those yeah, uh, the, uh, the Y. Yeah, come on, like in twenty twenty one or something shoot. like that. It's like a crossover, but they have to get as much cars as BMW, like, if they want to get in that market. I know that Tesla's just a startup. They don't have <laughs> as... not a startup, man. But it's not, it doesn't, ha it's kind of a startup in the car industry, because it's, like, not, it doesn't have uh, the same uh, experience as BMW, Audi, Mercedes, and it's all true. those other car companies, Toyota, like, they're all like 150 uh, uh, year old car companies, while Tesla is just only 10 years old. It's true, but Tesla is one of the most booming businesses I've seen in like a long time. Yeah. I think Apple was the last one which I saw, which was this crazy. Like, everyone talks about yeah. Tesla. If you see a car, if you see yeah, a Tesla, it's just amazing. No, if you, I heard people talking about Lamborghinis, like, oh, come on, Teslas are where it's at, man. Yeah. And the thing about this, the new, uh, the new Tesla Roadster, it's, it's, it's too, it's too, it, the new Roadster, right? It has more range than a gas car, which is just amazing with the EV, that you can get double the range of a gas car, no. even triple. Model S already did that. No. Yeah, yeah the cam, uh, normal cars are like the BMW 5 series, yeah, 7 series, so that gets you like a range of, on one tank, you can hold like... 12 gall gallons of gas. Yeah. But it's a luxury car, so it takes yeah. like a lot, a lot of, gas. of gas. So, like, that's another um, 15 mpg maybe for yeah. that. And then that brings you down to like 180, 190. But the thing is, the flexibility of a gas station so is nowhere yeah, exactly. as matched as Tesla Supercharger. Yeah, exactly. So, I have yeah. one uh, Supercharger, which is like, what, 200 meters away from me. I can yeah. walk to it. Yeah, but the thing is about the Superchargers, they take forever to charge the. They're not like gas. Uh, I mean, if you think about the other electric charging stations. Yeah, that's true. But Superchargers need to get faster, too, because, I mean, like. You go to a gas station, right? You're like on a road trip, and then you go like, oh, let's just go to the gas station, eat a burger, and like fill up our gas and stuff. Here, you, it takes like an hour. No, but Tesla puts their superchargers in a place where there's like a bunch yeah. of things around, like in a mall. So that's where mine's located. It's like shoppies and stuff. So yeah. that's where usually Tesla keeps their um. Thing. And this Roadster was unveiled in November sixteenth, two thousand and seventeen, which is. I guess okay, but if you're gonna delay three years when you do it, that's um, a little. But extra. this is a found literally only two thousand cars made, and it's like two fifty thousand dollars. So like, I mean, like no, it's, it's not fine. limited edition. Only the founder series. Yeah, exactly. So like, I mean, like you mm. could delay it for three years. If like, you're looking for a sports car, go for this. But if you're looking for a normal car. I don't get why you would buy this. Just, right, exactly. Just go for a Model S or like a 7 but, Series or something like that. And this is only if you can afford it because I don't want people living on the streets anymore with the Tesla Roadster. <laughs> you can live in your Tesla Roadster, but I mean, if I you're, that. you're probably going to be a rich billionaire uh, who's going to be, be buying this. And you're the type of people who have Lambos and stuff. Um, yeah, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, MKBHD. He has a Tesla Model S. He's buying a roadster too. That's true. So. We don't know. And we know he is. He told. That's everyone. true. <laughs> the world. Um, but the thing is, vlogs, man. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and the thing is that um, fun fact that the Tesla ro there's a Tesla roadster out in space right now. Two point oh. It's not the two point oh. It's, it's a regular one. Oh, that sucks. Should have put a Model S. On yeah, that. but they need the prototype to build one. So, they, Elon Musk put his own roadster, not the new one, but the old one, in space, and it's floating around. Um, yeah, with it's going to stay there for millions of years. Yeah. It's, it literally says, made in Earth. Aliens, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, subscribe to my channel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they can get Wi-Fi that far. They have their own uh, better ways of... Yeah, but we have a different... They charge from the sun, for God's sake. 
there's been proof. We charge from the sun, we sleep. Kind of. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's talk about the pricing now. Wrap it up with the pricing, it's getting a long uh, collab. So, you wanna reserve it today, you don't care that you're wasting uh, basically half a million, a quarter of a million dollars. You don't, buy you, don't want the, you don't want the Founder Series, you want the normal one, $50,000, piece of cake. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then you pay like 200k off. Like, so there's no way to actually affordably get this car. Like, you're paying the price of a, a pretty good loaded Model 3 as a reservation? Okay. You want the Founder Series? Yeah, you're gonna pay that money up front. Now, 250 k pay it up front, get it sometime in 2020. You don't even know if it's gonna come by 2020. According to Tesla, they wanted their Model 3 to come in 17, but... <clears throat> <laughs> 2019, 2020. <clears throat> yeah. The production, how often Model 3 so thanks guys for watching. Subscribe right up there for more awesome uh, content. Yeah. Drop a like down below. Makes my day. Makes subscribe it to, day. Subscribe to um, Try Hardy Tech. Link in description. Yeah. And I'll catch you in the next one. And watch my Tesla um, Model 3 and Model S and Model X videos. Yep. Give you more about uh, the Tesla. Oh, by the way, yesterday I just made a video about the Tesla Model 3 and I did one before about the Model Y. So yeah. Peace yeah. out. Take care. And I'll and, catch you uh, in the next one.